What's the mild inconvenience that drives you fucking crazy? My car has 3 windshield wiper speeds, super fast super duper fast, and T-U-R-B-O I hate using them when it's a bit more than a sprinkling of rain, because then the wipers just wipe at nothing. Dropping your keys trying to open the door. It always happens at the worst possible times, like when you got up as real bad, or your hands are full with bags. Clicking on a button, except that the button jumps just as you're clicking, and you get the wrong button. This happens often, when an app opens a new window, and it takes time, to fill up all the contents. Edit, the one I see every day at work, is my web conferencing app. I want to share a spreadsheet with the other people in the meeting, but then it jumps, and I share it instead. Adds one of seven. When you have a stuffed nose, and trying to sleep and need to consciously breath. I wear neutral gloves at work, and putting them on is a pain, when my hands are sweaty or damp at all. I can't get my fingers inside, and a neutral clings and twists, and it feels awful. When someone opens my door, comes into my room for a few seconds, and then leave the damn door open. Sure I could get up and close it. But I did that last time you came in. And the time before. When I grab a hanger in my closet and 46 other hangers come with it, no matter how organized it was. When the part of the song I want to hear is interrupted with navigation directions. My earbuds being caught by their cord behind something and then getting yanked out of my ears, infuriating. Walking through the city late at night after work. When I'm crossing a side street near the train station. Taxis will inevitably see me coming, and pull up right in front of me, so I have to walk around the back of them. Every single night. I tried a different route but it's longer, I tried waving them off, but they just come quicker. I tried running, so I can get there, before they block my path, but they just accelerate. I think the only solution is to run up, and do a hood slide. Place scanned item in bagging area asterisk places scanned item in bagging area remove unscanned item from bagging area. Getting all comfortable in bed, well positioned and everything, then realizing you forgot something in the living room slash kitchen and having to get up and get it. Edit, spelling edit too, thanks for the slivers. When two people in a shop stop, troll is side by side and block the entire aisle just to have a conversation. Flies landing and walking on my skin. One of the most annoying things in O. Enter password asterisk y o u r password is incorrect request password reset. Enter what you want it to be asterisk y o u cannot use your current password as your new password try to use that password asterisk y o u r password as i n c o r r e t asterisk computer flies out window. When people stare at you while eating. When my bluetooth doesn't connect in the car. It makes me want to stab my phone, even though it's not a big deal at all, and has zero effect on my life. Having to untie my shoes to put them on. I always try to just slip my foot in but then I crush that part at the back, and fuck up the shoe. I'm most comfortable in sneakers, but the slip on ones don't look as nice, slash. Stoplights feel timed, so that if you go in one direction for a few miles and you have to stop at a red light, chances are you will have to stop at all the red lights in that direction. When someone goes to shower slash bathroom right as you were about to- Oblivious drivers. Not ones texting, they know they're being an ass. I'm talking about those people who honestly have no fucking clue how to drive properly, yet totally think they're good at it. Leaves me fuming. Especially when they are putting other people's lives in danger. Socks that are too loose, especially at the ankles. Sweating. I hate sweating so much. I just feel incredibly gross. Breaking a nail, which is horrible on its own already, and not having a nail file with me to fix the jagged edges, so it keeps getting caught on things. Drivers who don't indicate when changing lanes. It doesn't even take a second. At work, the bathroom stalls can be locked, obviously, and you'll have a small red sign to indicate that it's occupied. Nonetheless there are always people trying to open the door just to make sure that it's really unoccupied. It drives me nuts. Can't you let me shit in peace? Edit, that blow up. Thanks for the silver. Two things, I didn't know there were so many color blind people. You're forgiven. Everyone else that try to justify their trying to barge in because they want you to hurry, you're not forgiven. 
go sit in the wood and let me finish in peace. Yeah, I sometime play Candy Crush while I shit. So. ATM fees. I will walk to another one, even if it's ages away, just to avoid paying a fee, even if I'm wildly inconvenienced in the process. Yes I know it's petty. Washing your face in the bathroom sink and the water trickling down your arms towards your elbows. Those fucking mobile game ads on YouTube, they're also insufferable quality. Intros on YouTube videos. Like get the point. I don't need you to read the product label, or tell me what you were thinking in Target, when you purchased it. The ack makes me freeze despite it being hot as the devil's nutsack outside, biting my lip then having to avoid the sore for the next week while I eat. Even worse, biting an already bitten lip. Slow walkers on sidewalks just move the fuck out of the way amendment, I'm speaking about the PPL, that are in the way not just slow, but the ones you can't get past after an attempt or two or, that just flat out make it impossible to go around. Unskippable midvid ads in Yauta Bandin, um, other Yauta like sites. Apparently I'm the exact height, to have my pockets get, caught on my drawers in the kitchen. I swear my basketball shorts will reach for the drawer handles and grab them. Makes me see red. Edit, while this blow up, I won't feel quite as angry, now that I know all of Reddit has this issue. People in the passing lane who match speeds with the car next to them, rather than. IDK. Fucking pass them, as intended. Edit, tie for the silver anonymous friend. Sometimes my Sbox controller will desync, and I have to get up, walk 4 feet, and manually push the buttons to reset it. After a hard day's work you might as well be asking me to drag a cinder block 3 miles uphill. After swearing I'll sit there, and consider how bad I actually want to play Sbox today same thing with the TV remote. Seems the more tired I am, the more apt it is to be across the room for some reason I swear my appliances. Teleport when I sit down. When my laptop runs out of battery, just as a plug the charger in. Google putting two fucking ads on YouTube now. Then these fuckers think they're slick, by making M exactly 5 secs long, so you can't skip M. Having to scroll 5 pages, to get to the recipe. Yeah okay I get it, you lost your virginity on a warm spring day, and then ate this salad. Get to the point. For some reason when browsing Reddit on the mobile app after 20 or so videos it will stop loading GIFs and videos entirely, and you have to restart the app. It also preloads 100 plus posts, while on mobile data and video quality is randomly so deteriorated that it feels like looking at a northeast's cutscene. Not to forget to mention that it doesn't save sorting preferences at all. The app is all around a very shitty and inconvenient experience. Craving a specific type of food. Arranging to get that specific food. Something going wrong along the way, and not having access to it. Ag. Edit, chick filler has been commented 10 plus times, much trend. You know that moment, when you're trying to sleep, and then there's, that song comes playing in your head, on loop. Fucking earworms. Slow drivers on left lane. Why are hot pockets not already in the cardboard crisping sleeve? I'm not fucking Gordon Ramsay over here. When people driving on the highway see a cop sitting off the side of the road ahead, watching four speeders, and slow down to like 15 under the speed limit, like you know that's also impeding the flow of traffic. Waking up in the middle of night to take a piss. Realizing your phone charger wasn't plugged in properly, before going to bed. Now I have to take a full hour sitting around in the morning waiting for it to charge. Get fucked. Thinking to myself oh, I need to google that later. But then, later when I have time to google, I can't think of that super interesting thing I was going to google. People not clearing the time left on a microwave. When I get in an elevator, and am riding to a high floor, and just before the doors close a bunch of people get in, and they all stop on a different floor, turning what would have been a smooth ride to the top into a start stop, jerky journey. Ballsack stuck to legs. Addition the dishwasher not being clean, because another was up against it due to some fuckwit not loading it properly. That small pimple below your nose, but above your lips, 